Okay, this is the last part of our quick tutorial for EVN. So the, this part is about UI editor. So when you click the UI editor, you can see two tabs. The first one is UI and the other one is controls. Okay, let's begin with the UI part. When you click UI tabs, you can see the choices part. The choices will show after you set choices in your uh, chapter. So you can change some of the choices, some part of it, like uh, the image. So when we change it to a new tab, like this. Okay, and select the type to this one. Okay, and also you can change the sky and the rotation angle and also the position and offset. And also the font size and color, you can just set the button number one. It will influence all of other buttons. You can change it to 20 and the color, change it to green. And the font style, you cannot change here, but in the future you can change it, okay? Okay, let's see the difference. Okay, is the new choices I just made. Okay, uh, then we go to the next part is title screen. You can change your game's title here. Oh, I change it to games game. And you can change the button image like you have done just now. Change it to, uh, to that type. Okay. Okay, changes to that type and also the position of your button and also the button test like change it to star and also the font size and font color And maybe the align. Okay, it's not up with. I will change the align to white. Okay, I will show you. Okay, there's a new button I just made. And then in this part, uh, you can add some new uh, interface, like your own interface to the title part. You can just draw a button or just copy your button like this. Okay. And then just delete this and then change the task. Uh, for example, if I want to make a credit interface, okay, credit interface, and then we just add a new UI interface. Name it to credit 
and change the base layer to a higher layer. It will, it should be higher than the title screen layer. Okay. And then we can put some image here. And then we can put a close button here. We can just change the close, change it the text to close. Okay, and then you can find the execute when click and double click and find the close current interface here. Okay. And I also want make a bike for the for this interface. We choose uh okay choose this black picture and then we change the style of this picture. Uh, it's not enough. Okay, it's enough. Okay. And you can change the layer of this picture, this bug picture to what? And this one, this one, and this one, this two, layer two. So it's over quite the interface. And then we back to our title screen. And when you click the crediting button, then we go to the credit interface. You can click and choose others and call custom interface. And you'll find the new interface you just made. And confirm. Okay, let's see. Okay, credit and close. Okay, this a uh, new interface you just made. Okay. Okay, the next part is main interface. It has only one thing is tips. You can change tips position to whatever you want and also change the tips font size maybe 27 okay and please make uh, please pay attention to that you cannot change tips color in the UI UI part in the UI editor so how can we change the colors of tips okay we just show tips here. Uh, uh, tips here. Mm, show tips. Okay. Uh, if you want to change the color of the tips, you can back slash and input the RGB of your color and then set the color of the tips and then input the tips you want to show for them uh, like, okay you got it okay, I will show you the changes okay, start again Okay, you got it. You tend to right and the position is not in the central. And then the center is in the left corner. Okay. Okay, then we go to the next part. Okay, if you want to uh, recover your interface to the default interface, you can right click and click the right restore to default. And it will 
recover to the default status. And then we go to menu part, is menu part. And if you want to change or add new function to this part, you can just do the same things as we do in the title screen. Okay, just add a new button and also call them private private okay. okay button credit and change the test to credit and then you can click this Part. We just, I just delete it and use a normal way to call the interface, and you can see quite difference between uh, it's showing title screen and the menu screen. So, I call the credit interface okay i will show you it's quite different and i will show you how to make the correct button change later okay we'll click menu and you can find the credit okay and then i click the log part do you find the difference Different difference between this interface. Okay, you can say uh, when I open the system interface, this menu part have been hidden. But when I click the credit part, this interface show that the menu interface do not be hidden. So how can we get the normal way? Make them same. Okay, I will show you how to make them same. You can just click the system and find this two command and copy it and just delete it. And you can say this script show the rv point game data point menu equal to 8 what is 8? 8 is the id of system interface so if you want to call credit interface you can change the 8 to 11 okay then we can see a difference Okay, menu, system, and the credit. Oh, please, you can you can focus on this dollar box not disappear. So how can we disappear this dollar box? So we just back there and click the credit interface and find execute after initialization and then click here and then we click test and give it a close test command and then we run game run game okay and credit okay we can now see the dialog box okay Okay, then we go to next part. Next part is inquiry box. Inquiry box is this one. Uh, you can make an uh, inquiry box like Oops. Do you want to quit game? 
Confirm or cancel. Okay, let's change it to OK. Okay, confirm. And we'll Uh, do you want quick game? OK or cancel? If you choose OK, and you can let the player to title screen. OK. And if you choose cancel, nothing will happen. OK, back to the title interface. Okay, uh, if you want to change the inquiry box interface, you can only change the button type and the bike image of the bike and also the font size and font style and font color, but you cannot change the position of this two button because if you change that one this can not work because this two button uh, the position is depends on the width and height of the box so it cannot change after you change the position so please pay attention to that Okay, uh, then the next part is lock, uh, is a title, uh, title part, and then the wheel pulled part, and then the screw bar part uh, is a complex, complex interface, so I don't want to show you how to change that, and also the gallery part. And system and save and load both these five interface uh, quite depends on the script so I highly recommend you do not change that uh, if you want to change the image of this five interface it's quite easy but I do not recommend you to change the other logical or other function part of this five interface okay uh, this is all about the UI interface and then the next part is controls uh, the controls is like this you can only make them in the controls tab and then you can drag them to the interface part just like this you can choose the controls you just made okay it is quite complex mm, it's all about the UI editor of if we end so if you have any question for if we end both the sitting variable UI or other things like input test or uh, show animation or other like a picture things you can try to ask question in our BBS or Steam form if I see them I will answer them okay this uh, this end of for quick tutorial. Thank you.